Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Uncle P with another episode of Uncle P's podcast, man. What's happening? What's happening? Whoa, 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 whoa. That was the wrong one. <laughs> guys, it's late. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. I just got out of a very interesting Twitter space. I just want to say thank you to everyone. Uh, Ruby and um, the host. Sorry, guys. Your na- um, the phone is on the other side, so I don't have everybody's name right now. But I want to say thank you to everyone that was on that space and so the topic initially was uh begazella woman so they wanted to hear my opinion on that and they allowed me to speak i don't know why i spoke so much i didn't need to speak that much but i guess being a podcaster comes with talking a lot <laughs> we try to keep the video short so you guys can actually enjoy watching it but then initially the topic of do all men cheat came out and i insisted that all men cheat and everybody everybody came and started talking and they were not having it so one of the main focuses, women were like, no, men can't just come in and be like, oh, men cheat. And then we must just accept it. Like as if it's okay, like their kids, they need to take accountability and all this. And da, 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 da. It was like, yo, woman, you're not listening. The problem is, is not that all men cheat. And the, some guys came there and they were like, no, that's not the narrative. And I wanted to ask one question in that group. Any guy in this group that can admit that they've never cheated. I actually asked the co-host. The co-host admitted he's, he's cheated before. The problem is, every listen, we can make a poll. You take 10 men and 10 women, you put them in the same room and you ask them the question. Who has never cheated? The chances are you will get more of the females admitting than the men. The chances are you won't even get a single guy. And I've said it before. If you watch the video, do all men cheat? I talk about opportunist, op- the opportunist cheater, where the opportunity presents itself. You see what you don't understand? Ruby said something on that space that everybody was like, what? Men are vis-? She said that men are visual beings. And this girl was not having it. W- women are also visual beings. Remember LL Cool J? Guys, you don't get it. Take a nerd, like we're talking nerd, glasses, even, let's say, handicapped, uh, on a wheelchair, um, like, not your usual person that a person would date. No offense. I'm using just an example. If you give that brother a chance, and you're the only woman that has ever dated him, there's a guy, I remember I've been preached, we're talking about, uh, being the ugliest guy out there, no woman ever wanted him. If you give a guy like that a chance, that guy will be faithful and loyal because he's never, he's always wanted a girlfriend and he can't have because he's ugly or whatever, whatever the case may be, or he's broke. If you give a guy like that, he will be grateful and be faithful. Now, watch this. If your friend comes and shows him that nigga that has never had a chick in his life before he's grateful to have you interest eventually your boyfriend is going to cheat with your friend if not your friend if another girl shows him interest second girl even if he fights third girl for eventually he's going to be like wait a minute i'm actually likable girls actually want me the opportunity presents itself and the nigga cheats the problem is women somebody has told women that cheating is un excusable and unforgivable like if a man cheats leave him they don't want to hear the why they've told you guys that don't even bother listening to the why the fact that when he comes home you don't cook the fact that when he comes home you don't give him peace and then some of you is like yeah well if you're no longer happy if you don't have peace with me then why don't you just leave me and go Wow. You see, women are failing to understand men and they think that men don't have feelings and emotions and that we can just stand up and go. You think that we can just leave our kids because there's a lot of deadbeat fathers out there that have left their children. Do you know why they left? Do you know how many toxic women have led men to leave their children? Even that, women will still say, if you love your child somehow, somewhere you'll find a way and make it work. AKA was trying to make it work with baby mama. How many people judged him? 
and saying that shit is weird. You see what I'm talking about? The problem is what? Life, the world has become or is being run and being seen in the eyes of a woman. And it needs to be that way so that men no longer can be men, no longer have strength. And people are, and I'm, and people will be like, oh, what, what? I'm telling you, listen, when a man is no longer a man and he no longer possesses the power that he needs to possess, especially a black man, because this is happening a lot with us black people. Black women, you are becoming too strong, too smart for your own good. And I'm not talking about too smart in the sense of a good way. This modern mindset is killing us because the unity of a black man and a black woman is extremely strong. I said, a good woman is not a submissive woman. Is a patient woman. Because a patient woman allows herself to understand. A man is not seeking for you to jump when he says jump. Think of this. As a man, I am birthed. To provide for a woman, to seek for a woman, to find a woman that I will call my wife and mother my children, that I will provide for. That is what I was bred for as a man. That's it. Don't bring me this modern day bullshit of other nonsense. That's a man. So I strive and I work to do that. Only to live in the world where women are striving just as hard, speaking just as loud, where, when I am fully aware that, as a man, when I find that woman, whether you go biblically, whether you go to the Quran or wherever, a man that finds a good woman, finds favor in everything. So if I can no longer find a good woman because all the women are strong, they're independent, they've... men are becoming weak. So you make it, it is harder for a man to get a job than a woman. But yet men are supposed to provide. Some of you will be like, uh, uh, guys, go to the court, the law. Child support. A man has to pay child support regardless. Whether you go to America, you come to Africa. The laws are there. We have to provide. You are taking things that men were supposed to be doing and you are doing it. You're no longer a woman. Guys, I'm talking to people who want to get married, who want to build families, who want to find true love. I ain't talking about people who want to be bonangs, independent, make that money, be a boss bitch. That's your shit. If that's what you want to do, do that. Then don't seek for marriage. The problem is you've got these bowler chicks getting married just because it looks good. You've got your faith in kitties just getting married for the sake of getting married because marriage is something that, you know, it looks good. Having kids because it's part of it. Kim Kardashian's got kids. Guys, there are truths that we need to accept. All men cheat. And there's a reason behind it. A man that is happy at home and that has peace doesn't need to cheat. Cheating occurs because there's a lie. What do I mean by that? Guys, watch the episode of The Old Man Cheat. In order for me to cheat, that means I must do it behind your back for you not to know. If I do it behind your back, I'm cheating. I'm lying. If you are aware of it, I'm not. Guys, men are going out there and cheating because they don't want, they are tired. They, they don't want the relationship anymore. But sometimes it's because it's, it's, there's kids involved. Some of y'all have bought houses together. 
social standing, what would people say. Even women are staying in relationships for those kind of reasons. Cheating should never be tolerable. But if it occurs, allow the door of communication. Cheating is not a reason to end your marriage. Because when you end your marriage and now you are single, a single mother seeking for child support from this guy. Now this guy is in another relationship, having other kids. He's got his other issues. Now you, listen, it's harder for a woman out there when you get out of a relationship with kids. Why don't you guys want to accept specific truths? As a man, I can have a hundred kids and go marry a 25-year-old at my 50-year-old age if I have the financial means to provide for that woman. She will accept me. But as a woman, if you have a child already, your dating pool becomes smaller. You don't want to accept it, but it's the truth. It becomes smaller. Two, even smaller. Three, oh, goodness. There's so much that is stacked against a woman when it comes to relationships, dating, and life. That it's extremely important for you to choose the right partner. And I kept saying it. The problem is people are not understanding the difference. Guys, go watch dating versus relationship. You guys need to start dating. Dating is a stage in which you get to know a person. Somebody said, yeah, so if you sleep with somebody while we're dating, it's also still cheating because you give me the attention that you want to get into a relationship with me. No, 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 no. Why are you people even sleeping with people in the first place? The forbidden fruit. If the forbidden fruit is nyash. Once you eat the nyash, you want to continue to eat the nyash. Either from one person, you're going to become curious. What does that nyash taste like? What about that one? Oh, that's big. That's flat. That's... Now, but... The problem is ladies don't want to take accountability. They don't want to take responsibility of nothing ever. And they don't understand the kind of power they have. Ladies, the fact that you don't take accountability, it's almost like saying that we have no power. We ladies, what could we possibly be <laughs> responsible for? Women, you are strong. You possess the ability. Imagine if women didn't sleep with no man on the first date. I'll, t I'll wait. I'll take my time. Nobody will slut shame you. Imagine if women had the principle and they said 90 day rule or marry me. That's the only way you get into my pants. Every man will be married. I'm just kidding. Obviously, we can't do it that way. But what I'm trying to say is this women, if you put boundaries, you won't have to have seven body counts before you find your husband. You can have a zero body count before you find your husband. Because men will then, you see, what you don't understand is, listen, guys, when you, you know, I was talking about the compare when men compare women with, with cars. And I'm about to use that, uh, to, that, oh, man. Listen, when you go test drive a car, there's a specific car, that one car that is put there that everybody test drives. That's not the car when you purchase the car that they're going to give you. Because that car is for test driving secondhand. If they have to sell it to you, they'll sell it to you at a cheaper value depending on the mileage. So after you test drive that car, you like the way it drives you and you agree. You see, now nah, maybe I, I, I want the leather interior. The leather interior doesn't feel nice. I want this, but I want to add a bigger screen. You choose your extras. You then say, okay, I'll take the car. I'll, I'll purchase the car. I'm happy with the car. But please put these extras. That's what's happening in these relationships. You ladies are doing what? A man approaches you. You get into a relation a relationship with the guy. Yo, hey, you guys are yo, you guys are boss. You some some of you clean the guy, wash the guy's clothes, go to the guy's house. But the modern day women don't do that. The old ones used to do that. They'll come to the guy's house, do laundry, everything. What? But let's go to the modern day woman. You're having sex with this guy. You're sleeping with the guy. Whether it's you, you're doing intercourse with this guy. So later on, as you guys are doing this, 
you guys don't live together you live at your place he lives at this place later on as you guys are doing this he realizes that you snore when you guys sleep and he really likes his sleep and he cannot handle a snoring check and because of that reason this guy does not marry you yes that that a reason is snoring as petty as that can be a reason why a guy don't marry you or you realize that he likes to go out late at night hang out with friends and just come home do one two three he doesn't even like to clean do dishes anything just come home sit and play playstation or whatever and then go straight to bed or you know get some ass and then go straight to bed and you want more and you realize that that's the type of man he is and that's how he likes his life he likes his freedom and everything and that doesn't work for you so you decide this is not the guy for me but you've already slept with this guy to you guys you see that as normal And you have the audacity to say, no, nah, but me and him, we're just not comfortable, you know? We just didn't click. So your guys didn't click so much that you guys ended up sleeping with each other? Body count one. So when you meet a guy, let's assume you meet a virgin, man, who is pure, who is perfect. Doesn't exist. He approaches you and you have one body count. He has the right to judge you and say, ew, impure. I'm looking for perfection. So since is that not the case, when you meet me, I know you're not perfect. I'm also not perfect. So why is it then that my imperfection counts for nothing when it comes to women? Ladies, all you need to do is talk to your man. There are certain things you will understand that will shock you. As a father and having a partner, I learned something. When we had a kid, I still wanted to have sex with my partner. But I didn't realize how tired my partner was breastfeeding and everything. You know, even after six months, she was just exhausted. The sleepless nights. She was exhausted. And as a man, I didn't understand that. And at that period, and I realized a lot of marriages go through a lot of struggles, especially when a child is born. A lot of men, especially in that period, cheat a lot because their women can't Give them that thing. But when you understand that thing as a man, especially, and you, you communicate with your partner, you, you let your man know that, baby, listen, I love you. And I want to be like this. But at the moment, my stretch marks and this is making me feel insecure. Oh, at the moment, I'm just not feeling it. Just give us some time. Oh, can we try this? Try. The problem is, as we don't communicate, we just assume one must know. One must not do this. One must be like this. One. No, one must be like nothing. Guys, stop thinking you don't know if to work on anything. We are all not perfect. We're all broken in some way. We've all made mistakes. Allow me with my mistakes and my errors. You know who's a serial cheater. You know who's a serial liar. You know who, whatever, whatever, who's a gold digger. Guys, we know our problem is our truth and our reality are two different things. We want the tall, dark, and handsome, or, or light in complexion, whatever. We want the slay queens, the big niash, the, you know, your faint Katie's, your Beyonce's. You, you know, you want some of you even like them dark skinned, you know, uh, uh, hot mamas, you know, not only them Latinas. We want them, B, what is it, BBW or WB, what, big black, you know, that, that thing. We want all that. But the truth is, we're all seeking for one truth. It's happiness and love. Everybody's seeking for happiness. Everybody's seeking for love. The problem is the modern world has frustrated us that we have accepted certain realities, essential truths, that we don't need to accept. I've, I don't think I've digressed. Guys, men cheat. There's a reason behind it. And cheating does stop. Men can become loyal. Let's stop acting like there are things that we don't need to work on. There are things we need to work on. Women love money and they love the good life. They love to be taken care of. That's a fact.
and if you do not do it for them and you do not do it adequately they're not going to be happy man and when if she can do it for herself then she doesn't need you simple as that so let's start accepting each other's truth let's start dating within our price range within our age group within our <laughs> lane within our whatever we're wasting way too much of our own time seeking for unicorn if sorry guys even when we know the truth whether you want to talk about christ or the modern world don't you know guys you've already had sex what are you talking about christ for Christ must bring you what husband. You're already fornicating left and right. You already have a child. The reality, those are the realities. You've got a body count. I've got a body count. I've cheated. I've lied. I've got kids. You've got kids. This is our reality. Now, what is our truth? Our truth is, I'm tired. you tired. I'm looking for a wife. I'm looking for a husband. Let's make this shit happen. But no, when you want to date, you want to get into a relationship, you want to go enjoy, taste the waters, get to know you, do this. No, girl. You're not ready for marriage. No, bro. You're not ready for marriage. If you guys want to get to know each other, want to move around, be friends. You don't need to sleep with each other. The problem is, is what... And you guys, like, this is such a broad topic. I've even spoken longer than I need to speak for. The problem is what? Guys don't want to date. Go watch the episode. Guys don't want to date because it costs money to take a girl out on a date and they feel like they're not getting anything in return. They're not getting compensated, you know, for taking you out on a date, for spending on you and all this. So they want that ass. They want it now because they're spending on you. Because, you know, they're going to spend on you. Another guy's going to spend on you, and you know? Guys, those are the realities and you know, but it's not the truth though. The problem with guys is you want to approach a woman that you can't financially afford and then because you don't want to work your ass off and make that money so you can be with the woman. Guys, when you have money, you can be with the woman you want to be with. I'm telling you, you can travel the world and go seek for your wife. And when she, you show her that you can financially take care of her, you can bring her back home. And then, ah, man, guys, guys make money so you can marry the woman of your dreams so you don't have to settle. That way you don't have to cheat. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I honestly don't know what else to tell you guys. This is the longest episode. Um, I'd I, like, you know, guys, I try to keep the episode less than 10 minutes. But here you go. This was because of the Twitter space. There's a lot that wanted, I wanted to discuss then. I wanted to say, but you can't keep talking forever. But here you go, man. I own a podcast, so I can keep talking forever here. Yeah? I hope you guys enjoyed this um, episode. Guys, listen, I'm not saying except cheating. What I'm saying is woman, be a woman. I promise you, your gentleness, your softness, your tenderness, your love, your nurturing, regardless of whether you're making six figures or you're a housewife, your understanding, your warmth is worth more than a man can ever offer you back in return. I am so blessed with a partner. My partner is an accountant. She's an amazing, she's intelligent. When COVID hit, she got retrenched and everything. We started a company and everything. She helped the company flourish. When we had kids, she just couldn't do everything. But she focused on raising the kids and being a mother and being a partner to me. And we are growing and understanding that concept. And guys, I'm telling you, it's beautiful. I feel the pressure to provide for my family. It's heavy on me. To provide for my kids, my wife, and trying to make them happy and build this home and still have a life in the process and try and make her happy. All that, it's so heavy on a man, especially in this world where money is not easy. But you know what makes it easy? When I come home, my kids come running, daddy, daddy, daddy. Theo, Amira, 
my partner hugged me. She always wants to kiss me. And she's like, hey, babe, do you want coffee? Do you want tea? You know, she's ready to make me a sandwich, a meal. She, you know, um, take off your shoes, you know, um, sit comfortable. Um, I, do you want to go downstairs to the studio? Are you going to go downstairs and work? Oh, why don't you go downstairs and play some, you do this? Why don't you do that? Uh, you know, she's ready to make me just be free. And be, I, when I recognize that, a good man, when they recognize that, in return, they give you that life, those vacations. They work their asses off to give you that life that you deserve. It's possible to find a man. But a woman needs to be a woman. A man needs to be a man. However you understand that, it's extremely important. I'm not saying that you can't work, that you have to be in the kitchen. I never say that. I love cooking. Yeah, my partner, we alternate. She can go a whole week without cooking because she's tired. Gotta take it. Women, be women. Be gentleness, your patience, your love, your understanding. There's a reason why you were created. There's a reason why you were taken from the rib. Symbolically, you are a part, a very important part. Ribs protect important organs in the body. A man is more secure and more safe and more strong and more confident when he has a strong woman next to him that he comes back home to. A woman that empowers him. A woman that inspires him. But the world has convinced you guys that you don't need to do that. Are they children? Did their mothers not raise them right? No. Our mothers raised us right. They raised us with love, compassion. And that's why when we choose you as our wives, we seek for love and compassion. That's what we're seeking for. Why is that wrong? Oh, you guys want to marry your mothers? Uh, yes, because that's where we learned how to love. I look at the way my mother loves my father, the relationship that they have, and the way she loved the children and took care of her children. Why would I not seek for that type of love from my wife so that my children may experience that too? Men who come from broken homes, from mothers who never loved them, you can tell. Those of us that come from love, home that we were loved, that we were taken care of, that we were raised right by our mothers, we seek for those in our partners because that love will be transmitted to our kids. Nothing wrong with that. And don't let the world tell you otherwise. I'm your boy, Uncle P. I'm going to go to bed, man. <laughs> I love you guys. Cheers.